I was thinking today with Trump's inauguration coming up and the behavior from the left, just the contrast between Barack Obama's inauguration, particularly in Hollywood, <laughs> in the entertainment industry, and, and how people were, were really, they were demanding that you come together and how they wanted you to react as Americans. Let's, let's take a time traveling. So let us summon a new spirit of patriotism, of responsibility, where each of us resolves to pitch in and work harder and look after not only ourselves, but each other. I pledge, I pledge to be the voice for those that have no voice. To consider myself an American, not an African American. To always represent my country with pride, dignity, and honesty. To sell a culture of intelligence instead of ignorance. To fight. To become aware. To educate, to not give up. To defend. Issues that I care about. I pledge to be of service to Barack Obama. I pledge to commit to my own change before I ask others to change. To be the change. To be the change. To integrate into my heart what I already know in my head, which is that we're all in this together. I pledge to be a servant to our president and all mankind. Because, because together, together we can, together, together we are, and together, together we will be the change that we seek. Mm, that's mm. nice there. Uh, first off, they're divorced. Yeah. Also, <laughs> <laughs> I always want to take life advice from a, a, a part of the world, the entertainment industry, the only place with a virtually 100% divorce exactly. rate. But pledging allegiance to a leader with Barack Obama, doesn't that seem reminiscent of, mm. oh... This man not be allowed to stand! This bullshit and will not be allowed to stand! It was literally Hitler. It was literally, literally, Hitler. It was literally Hitler. We were drawing yeah. a Hitler comparison. So uh, this was back then. I, I, a lot of people didn't remember this. Uh, they were talking about unity and together, and we need to give this president a chance. Remember that? It's time yeah. to let's give All him a chance. barring the, uh, the Brady Brunch the, graphic editor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is what mattered. This is what they were telling us all in 2008 and 2009. They were dead set on it. Compare that with um, the reaction to Trump's upcoming inauguration. Again. Oh. This, uh, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good at all. Not my president! 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 No seems pretty mild. Uh, please tell me someone gets run over. No, no one got run over. Oh, it, it's such a contrast. It, it, when we actually have, we've written about this at Ladder with Crowder. Uh, Project Veritas has written about this too. A group, Disrupt J20, was actually planning to release noxious gases. Through the ventilation system at inauguration. Did mm -hmm. you guys hear about this? I heard about that. So just a little just a little dabbling in domestic terrorism is what they're doing. And Project Veritas had a video where they actually, I think we have a clip, they yep. um, exposed undercover plans. They wanted to put pints of acid <laughs> in the sprinkler system for inauguration. Let's see that really quickly. If you had a freaking pint of butyric acid, I don't care how big the building is, it's closing it. They enclosed it while Yeah, too. yeah. Um, and, and this stuff is, like, it's very efficient. It's very, very smelly. It lasts a long time. And a little of it goes a long way. I know, I'm trying to think through how to get all the sprinkles throughout the board. There's usually a piece of, like, fusible metal or a piece of glass and liquid in it that'll blow. What's so odd about that is when he's sitting there, you know, he's sitting there for a second, he's looking like this. I'm watching, I'm going, oh, he's for, he's figured it out, he's seen a camera. And then he goes on to describe how he would commit acts of terrorism. Like, he, I thought, oh, oh, he's aware, he, he caught on. So this is how we're going to um, get people covered in acid. It's just, the lack of self-awareness is None. amazing. None. It's, it, it just, it really is incredible how we went from years and years of them absolutely trashing Bush. How many pictures of George W. Bush with a chimpanzee did you get forwarded? Oh, gosh. In your email. So many. Oh. And then all of a sudden, Blood civility. Civility was the virtue above all other virtues. Barack Obama became president. Well, well, we want to call to civility. We, we, we really think now it's time to unify. Now it's time to be civil. And here, here's what's funny. I think on this show, I hope 
if you watch the way we've interviewed leftists on the show and they, they usually do come back, yeah, I, I value civility. Of course I value kindness, but I value honesty over civility. I value integrity over politeness. I value consistency over political expediency. I value selflessness over economic covetousness that you see from the left. So it, it, they go from civility, civil, and by the way, let me, let me be very, very clear here. I thought I will never pledge allegiance to Donald Trump. Mm. I thought it was creepy back then and weird and uncomfortable, and I think it's creepy and weird now. I, I will certainly never kneel for a man. I hope nobody uh, out there in, in freedom-loving America feels that way. And I know we'll get complaints about this sometimes. You know, I really, uh, I really just, you, sh you shouldn't criticize Donald Trump at all because uh, the, the, the MSM, the lamestream media, does that enough. No, we'll criticize him when it's fair, and we'll support him when he's right, because we at least try and be consistent here. And... Um, I think the only way to beat the left, and you see this, you see what they did, the Pledge of Allegiance to Obama, and you see their behavior now. Yeah. I think the only way to actually beat the modern regressive left, left and they're, they're, they're almost transparent at this point, pure political expediency, you saw that with Barack Obama, is to contrast that with intellectual consistency. And even if you disagree with us, that's what we're going to try and do here. Hopefully, we do. Hey, speaking of horrible people... Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran, enter in that promo code. It's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.